namaste, good afternoon. <laughs> well, today I got a gift. I got a gift deck. Nothing better than getting a gift deck of tarot cards. So the ones I got today were the mother piece round tarot deck. <laughs> it says it's been over 35 years in print. I guess these were made in the 70s originally. Okay. So this is a uh, new one. It's not one from the 70s, but they were originally copyrighted in the 70s. So here's the back of it. They're round like a pizza. It looks like a pizza. <laughs> Maybe I'll get hungry if I look at these. <laughs> but it matches. Look at there. We're matching today. Anyway, so I'm going to show you the deck of the mother piece tarot cards. Here we have the fool. <laughs> the fool with the magic mushrooms. <laughs> Tell that's a 70s deck, right? <laughs> the magic mushrooms, psychedelics. <laughs> we have the magician. This is such an odd deck. I can't wait to try to shuffle and see what we do with it. The High Priestess. <laughs> Empress. Emperor. The Hierophant. <laughs> the Lovers. Chariot. Justice, the crone, wheel of fortune. Strength, hanged one, death, I think the death card is pretty cool. It's just very graphic. Temperance. <laughs> She's a bit out there for temperance. The devil. The tower. Star. Moon. The sun. Judgment. And the world. Now we have the wands. So we'll just go through these. 
I like the bursting out. <laughs> So I guess these cards were started during the women's revolution. <laughs> Women power <laughs> during the 70s. So they definitely have a different energy. My goodness. Are you sure this isn't the nudist deck? <laughs> It's like they're all free, free, I'm telling you, free. <laughs> A little free for me, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, so then this is different. They've got the sun and the priestess. They got the daughter, the son, the priestess, and the shaman instead of page and so interesting. Little different. Here we have the cups. going to be interesting to see what kind of energy these have when you're doing your readings because they are definitely a different feeling than the other decks. I guess these come in two sizes. This is the larger, and then they have a smaller version. Still trying to figure out what those are crawling in and out of there. Are those crabs? Are they starfish? Are they what the heck are these? <laughs> what are these creepy crawly things? Okay, well, this is different for the Seven of Cups. Usually it's the one of illusion and stuff, but this does not feel like the Cups of Illusion. So I have to ponder that one. Oh, here it is, the Eight of Cups.
and now we have the swords. And now we are at, uh, again, Shaman of Swords. That one's different, isn't it? Shaman. Now we have Discs. Coming to worldly play. And last. Okay, so let's look and see. Again, let me check in here. Is there a booklet with it? Did 
there is a little bitty, ah, oh, there it is, hidden away. Okay, there is a little bitty booklet with it on the round tarot. Let's see. Discs. It's a little bit about numerology. Discs. Okay, we'll just say, we'll just do the last one and see what they say. Discs, the shaman. <clears throat> so their thing on this is, is fire and earth on the edge, long range vision, strong sense of purpose and direction, magnificent healer. Okay, so these definitely have a different uh, connotation than most do. We'll look at the priestess, being in the body, yoga, inner sight, fertility spark, security. Okay, we'll do another one, sun. Focus, determination, hypnotism, lightness, and penetration. Daughter, vision, quest, to find a new name, bringing power down. Okay. 10, birth of something new in a community of support. The circle is complete. Nine, solitary creative work, accomplished healer. Reverend, going out in the world with your art and healing skills. Eight, on the path, an apprentice, adept having many skills and cooperation. Eight months pregnant, almost through a waiting period, could feel impatient. Success, enough energy and resources to share, receiving gifts. Yeah, these are definitely different. Five, a need for calming, repetitious work, such as making tortillas, <laughs> to prevent energy from turning into worry. If it's reversed, alternative structures created doing things differently than before. Four, gaining control of your doorway, who comes in and who stays out. So now, most of these do not have a uh, reverse meaning. Only, <laughs> so far I've seen that one does. So that's interesting. Number three, group project, finding life's work and spiritual work. Two, ability to handle complexity, keeping a lot of plates spinning. Okay. This is the ace, newborn, a gift, beginning a new project. So that's uh, physical things, body, work, money, earth. So there you have it. They, the uh, definitions of these are definitely different than a regular tarot. So thank you for sharing with me the Mother Peace Round Tarot. So we'll have to check and see um, just how these are going to work. Now these are kind of large for my hands, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how we. Whoa, there they go. They're flying across the room even as we speak. <laughs> so I can see shuffling these is going to be a major ordeal, and now I've got to see where the other one went flying to. Um, yeah, I'll find it in a minute. I think more than one went down. I'm gonna have to look. I'm only finding one down there, so. <laughs>
Shuffling them is going to be, I don't think I can shuffle them like a, let me see if I can shuffle it like a regular deck. Is that going to work? Yeah, you can. You can, you can sort of shuffle them like a regular deck. <laughs> so again, you know, yeah. Okay. I think it, you know, the cards are kind of thin, so it would be easier if you can do the other way, but my hands are small, so shuffling them that way, you know, this, this way is uh, going to be a little difficult for me without dropping them. Yeah, I suppose I can. <laughs> no, no, there they go. <laughs> They're running away. <laughs> they are running away. So for me, the difficulty with this deck is just going to be shuffling them really well the first few times, you know. <laughs> yeah. But we will we will work on it and then uh, see how it goes for a reading. This is going to be interesting, okay? <laughs> so have a good day. Thank you for tuning in, everyone, and thank you, Siddhananda, for the lovely deck. I'm going to enjoy it for sure. Now I got to learn some new things for the mother piece. Namaste.